Today's topic we are going to see strain gauges. Please tell me whether my screen is visible or not. Is it visible? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Today's topic is strain gauges. This is the example for passive transducer. Okay. Strain gauge is an example for passive transducer that uses the variation in the electrical resistance in wires to sense the strain produced by a force on the wires here. If a metal conductor is stretched, if it is uh, stretched or uh, compressed, its resistance is going to be changed. If metal wire is elongate stress is stretched. Elongation Elongation means stretching or uh, compressing chase the intent or resistance in that wire. Some resistance is going to be changes here. That is the fact given. If a metal conductor is stretched or compressed, its resistance changes on account of the fact that both the length and diameter of the conductor changes. Also, there is a change in the value of resistivity of the conductor when subjected to the strain. This property is known as piezoresistive effect. We are applying some pressure and we are going to obtain some change in the resistance of the material that is known as piezoresistive effect. Piezoelectric effect means piezoelectric effect means we are applying some pressure. We are going to obtain some electrical quantity that may be in terms of some voltage or current. Therefore, here this is the piezoresistive effect is going to be obtained in these strain gauges. Therefore, Resi resistance strain gauges are also known as piezoresist gauges. Many detectors and uh, transducers like uh, load cells, torque meters, pressure gauges, temperature sensors, etc., employ these uh, strain gauges as secondary transducers. These uh, these uh, strain gauges are going to be employed as the secondary transducers. Okay, and there are uh, different types of uh, strain gauges are there. There are strictly we can uh, tell this uh, strain gauges are bonded and unbonded type of strain gauges and other type of strain gauges are resistance wire strain gauges, foil strain gauges, semiconductor type. There are different different uh, strain gauges are there. We will see this uh, different types of strain gauges in the next class. We will see the basic working of the strain gauges here and the derivation part uh, for the gauge factor. Gauge factor in this class we are going to cover. Here, this is the this is the in your textbook. This is the diagram given, uh, but I will provide some other diagram uh, by comparing these two diagrams. What whatever the easy, if you feel whatever the diagram is easy, you can uh, draw the diagram in your examination. Okay, this is the bonded type of uh, strain gauge. This is the unbonded type of strain gauge. This is the this is the fine wire fine wire and I am going to apply some strain upon this fine wire. Then there is a, these two leads will observe the change in the resistance in the material. How it is going to be measured? By using some bridge circuit. By using some bridge circuit, we will measure the change in the resistance in the, in this entire setup, we will, uh, we will uh, measure here, okay? This is the derivation part. This is this derivation part is is given in your textbook. I will uh, I will tell some other uh, some other easy way for this uh, for that derivation part. Will, this is the bridge arrangement bridge arrangement of the strain gauge here. This is the dummy gauge. This this is the st actual strain gauge active strain gauge. This is the output. How much amount of uh, change in resistance can be obtained by this by this one by using this meter? We can obtain what is the change. What is the change? This is the voltmeter is connected for this bridge circuit. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. This is this is my my notes actually. If a metal conductor is stretched or compressed, its resistance changes on account of the fact that both the length and diameter of the conductor changes. This point we have already seen. Here then a metal conductor stretched or compressed, its resistance changes on account of the fact that the length and diameter of the conductor changes. There is a change in the value of resistivity of the conductor when it is strained and this property is known as piezoresistive effect. 
resistance uh, resistance strain gauges are also known as piezo resistive gauges the strain the strain gauges are used for measurement of strain and associated stress in experimental stress analysis secondly many other uh, detectors and uh, transducers like load cells torque meters diaphragm uh, diaphragm type of pressure gauges temperature sensors accelerometers flow meters employs second uh, employ this strain gauges as the secondary transducer the theory the theory of the strain gauges is given as that i am going to consider this as the this is the wire this is the wire i am going to consider this wire has some length and it has some diameter i am up, i am uh, elongating this wire some force is uh, given along this direction some force is given along this direction then some some dimensions are going to be change in this wire similarly and i am going to compress this wire and i am going to compress this wire in this direction i am going to set and i am going to compress this wire compress this wire in this direction actually force is given in this direction the arrow mark should be given in this direction okay please note it down then the change in the length will takes place as well as the change in the diameter will takes place change in the length is very much small uh, actual length compared to the actual length length is small as well as diameter is also going to be changes here the force is applied in this direction the force is applied in this direction for elongation as well as compression of the wire here the change in the value of resistance by straining the gauge may be may be partly explained by the this uh, normal dimensional behavior of the elastic material here here if a strip of elastic material is subjected to some tension or or in other words a positive strain or in other words we can call this as positive strain it's longitudinal longitudinal means length length wise direction length dimension will increases while there is while there will be a reduction in the lateral that is in the side sideways uh, sideways dimensions here lateral means side dimension so when a when a gauge is subjected to a positive strain its length is going to be increases while its area of the cross section is going to be decreases then it stretches am anukondam aa stretch chesina appudu entante length increase avutundi but its uh, cross sectional area is going to be decreases that resistance of unstrained gauge r is equal to generally it is going to be given by r is equal to rho l by a we know this formula we know this formula in uh, first year first year itself okay where r is resistance rho is resistivity of a wire l is length a is area the resistance of a conductor is proportional to its length and inversely proportional to its area of cross section the resistance of the gauge increases with positive strain the resistance of the gauge is is this area is going to be decreases while uh, while we are elongating this wire this area decreases then this resistance is going to be increases therefore we can call this as positive strain here similarly similarly let us consider a strain gauge made up of circular wire circular wire the wire has the dimensions length l area a diameter d before being strained the material of uh, the material of the wire has a resistivity rho the resistance of the unstrained unstrained gauge is given by r is equal to rho l by a rho l by a ipudu ikkada positive strain ani cheppanu kada amma ikkada atlane negative strain aithe em avutundi ee area increase avutundi resistance decrease ayind anukondi danni em antam negative strain antam anamata ipudu idi positive strain okay let it be i am again uh, considering the, the basic formula uh, that is r is equal to rho l by a let us uh, let a tensile uh, stress s be applied to the wire this produces a positive strain causing the length of uh, length to increase and the area to decrease thus when the wire is strained there is a change in its dimension here those dimensions are let delta l means change in length delta a change in area delta d change in diameter delta r change in 
resistance here. In order to find uh, how this change in resistance depends upon the material physical quantities, the expression for resistance, the expression for resistance capital R is uh, differentiated with respect to S here. That means I am going to consider this equation. By considering this equation, I am going to differentiate this equation. Then I will uh, going to obtain this equation here. That is in order to find change in resistance here. In order to find change in resistance that is delta r depends upon the material physical quantities the expression for this resistance is differentiated with respect to stress capital s here therefore that is uh, delta this is dr by ds dr by ds i am going to consider this term i am going to consider this term with respect to the stress here that is delta delta r by delta s anna anukochu amma dr by ds anna anukochu that is uh, dr by ds that is equal to i am going to consider uh, this equation with respect to strain therefore uh, apply the differentiation uh, differentiation equation for this equation for this equation with respect to with respect to the l with respect to length l that means that will become rho a by a rho a by a these two are constants these two these two terms are constants and remaining term is do uh, that is dl by ds or do l by do s that is going to be considered here minus next term is a term this this term is a then rho l by rho l is constant rho l is constant denominator term will become a square rho l by a square do a by do s this is in the denominator term then i will get the minus term here minus rho l by a square do a by do s here also do l by do s do s amma ikkada kuda do l by do s and next one is next term is rho term rho term and these two terms will become constant l by a will become constant then do rho by do s do rho by do s ఈ ఈక్వేషన్ ఎట్లా వచ్చిందో కరెక్ట్గా తెలుసుకోవాలి మనం ఈ ఈక్వేషన్ వచ్చేస్తే మనకి ఈ డెర్వేషన్ పార్ట్ మొత్తం ఈక్వేషన్ ఈజీ అవుతుంది అనమాట ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు కన్సిడర్ ది ఈక్వేషన్ విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు రెసిస్టెన్స్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ ద రెసిస్టెన్స్ అండ్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ ది స్ట్రెయిన్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ ది స్ట్రెయిన్ దట్ ఈస్ డిఆర్ బై డిఎస్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు దట్ ఈస్ రో రో బై ఏ ఈజ్ కాన్స్టాంట్ రో బై ఏ ఈజ్ కాన్స్టాంట్ దట్ రో బై ఏ ఈజ్ కాన్స్టాంట్ దేర్ ఫోర్ డో ఎల్ బై rho s minus rho rho l is constant minus rho l by a square do a by do s and uh, this term is l by a is constant then plus l by a is constant do do rho by do s let it be this is the primary equation first one first one is the basic equation and this is the derived equation this is the derived equation let it be equation number 2 and dividing equation 2 throughout uh, throughout by resistance capital r the capital r means rho l by a rho l by a therefore i am going to divide the entire equation by r 1 by r into dr by ds or do r by do s that is equal to 1 by l do l by do s minus 1 by a do a by do s plus plus uh, after substituting these these values that will become 1 by rho into do do rho by do s do rho by do s let it be ipudu ee equation undamma ee equation ki ee equation ki nenu 1 by r an rastunanu 1 by r dividing the entire equation with 1 by r then what is this r r is equal to rho l by a 1 by r ante appudu a by a by rho l a by rho l i am going to substitute here i am going to substitute this term here okay. then this uh, rho and this rho this a and this a get cancelled and remaining is 1 by l 1 by l do l by do s minus here here after substituting this one one a get cancelled 1a get cancels rho l and this uh, rho l get cancels and this cancels 1a remains here minus 1 by a do a by do s 
and uh, here here a and a get get cancels l and l get cancels a and a get cancels and l and only row row remains here plus 1 by row do row by do s yes. that is the that is the meaning here okay by substituting this term here and i will uh, i will get this simplified equation let it be equation number 3 equation number 3 thereafter thereafter it is evident from equation 3 that the per unit change in resistance is due to per unit change in length that is given by delta l by l per unit change in area delta a by a per unit change in resistivity delta rho by rho area a is equal to pi by d d square that is area is given by pi by 4 d square uh, we know this one we know this formula area a is equal to pi r square or this resist uh, this uh, radius can be given as in terms of diameter is pi d square by 4 this uh, radius is given by d by 2 d by 2 radius r is equal to d by 2 by substituting this value here that formula i can obtain this formula like this area a is equal to pi by 4 d square okay by i am going to use this formula i am going to use this formula that is uh, after uh, after making uh, after making some differential equation like that then do a by do s is equal to 2 into pi by 4 d d into do d by do s and uh, take uh, taking the area a term in the denominator on both sides on both sides then 1 by a into do a by do s is equal to pi by 4 2 pi by 4 into d into do d by do, a, do s by i am again i am going to substitute this uh, this term pi by 4 d square after uh, substituting this uh, this term this d and uh, this d one d term get cancelled and this pi by 4 get cancelled and remaining term is 1 by a therefore that implies 1 by a do a by do s that is equal to 2 by only 2 remains here and d, d remains here 2 by d do d by do s do d by do s remains there let it be equation number 4 i am going to substitute this term i am going to i am going to use this term i am going to use this term i am going to previously i am going to substitute this term in equation number 3 equation 3 can be written as then then equation 3 can be written as 1 by r do r uh, 1 by r dr by ds is equal to 1 by l do l by do s minus this one this is the term 1 by a do a by do s term is this one middle term middle term i am going to substitute here that is 2 by d do d by do s plus 1 by rho do rho by do s now poisson's ratio is given by the formula lateral strain by longitudinal strain lateral strain by longitudinal strain the inputs mano next class lo inkonchem chustam first for time being poisson's ratio v is given by lateral strain by longitudinal strain that is given by the formula do d by do d by d by rho l by l that is change in diameter by change in diameter with respect to the change in length that is do d by d is equal to Uh, this uh, by rearranging these terms i will get this do d by d is equal to minus v into do l by l this do d by d do d by d i am going to substitute uh, substitute this term this term also i am going to substitute in the above equation okay then then above equation the expression will become same 1 by r dr by ds is equal to 1 by l 1 by l do l by do l by do s plus v into plus v into 2 by do d by e term undu kada amma do d by d okay do d by d term lo nenu ee sub idini substitute chestanu ee equation ni substitute chestanu appude em avutundi v minus of minus plus avutundi minus of minus plus v into v into 2 und ga ekatlane v into 2 hmm? l undi 2 by l into do l by do s avutadu anamata do l by 
డో ఎస్ ఇదే ఇదే ఈ టర్మ్లో నేను సబ్స్ట్యూట్ చేస్తే నాకు ఆ టర్మ్ ఇట్లా సింప్లిఫై అయింది అనమాట వి ఇన్ టు టూ బై ఎల్ డో ఎల్ బై డో ఎస్ అండ్ యాజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ దీస్ టూ టర్మ్స్ దీస్ టూ టర్మ్స్ యాజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఓకే ఆఫ్టర్ సబ్స్ట్యూటింగ్ దిస్ వన్ ఐ విల్ అక్వైర్ దిస్ ఈక్వేషన్ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఫర్ స్మాల్ వేరియేషన్స్ ద అబౌ రిలేషన్షిప్ ద అబౌ రిలేషన్షిప్ కెన్ బి రిటర్న్ యాజ్ ఫర్ స్మాల్ వేరియేషన్స్ ఈ రిలేషన్స్ని నేను మళ్ళీ ఇట్లా రాస్తున్నాను అనమాట డిఆర్ బై ఆర్ ఉంది కదా దాన్ని ఇప్పుడు నెక్స్ట్ వచ్చే రిలేషన్ ఏంటంటే ఇప్పుడు ఈ ఎస్ టర్మ్ అన్నిట్లి కామన్ కదమ్మా ఈ స్ట్రైన్ టర్మ్ ఇది మొత్తం క్యాన్సిల్ చేసుకుంటాను ఇది నేను ఒమిట్ చేస్తున్నాను అనమాట నెక్స్ట్ రాసే ఈక్వేషన్లో ఆ ఎస్ టర్మ్ని ఒమిట్ చేసేసుకొని ఇప్పుడు నేను ఎట్లా రాస్తాను ఈక్వేషను డెల్టా ఆర్ బై ఆర్ అని డెల్టా ఎల్ బై ఎల్ అని డెల్టా ఎల్ బై ఎల్ అని అట్లా రాస్తాను అనమాట అది చూడక ఇదిగోండి డెల్టా ఆర్ బై ఆ ఎస్ టర్మ్ని ఒమిట్ చేసేసుకున్నట్టు రాస్తున్నా డెల్టా ఆర్ బై ఆర్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు డెల్టా ఎల్ బై ఎల్ ప్లస్ టూ టూ వి డెల్టా ఎల్ బై ఎల్ ప్లస్ డెల్టా రో బై రో ఇదిగోండి డిఆర్ అన్నారు కదా ఇక్కడ డో ఆర్ ఆర్ డిఆర్ ఇక్కడ డెల్టా ఆర్ that is do r by r ante delta r by r delta r by r ikkada ee s term ee do s ni mottanni cancel chesandi amma mottanni cancel chesandi appudu left ikkada left hand side right hand side do s common kada andukani common common ga teesesukoni cancel chestam ipudu only this term these terms will remain here do delta r by r delta l by l delta l by l delta rho by rho that is the this equation is minimized like this delta r by r delta l by l plus 2v delta l by l plus delta rho by rho let it be equation number 5 the gauge factor is defined as the ratio of uh, per unit change in resistance to per unit change in length that gauge factor is given by gf is equal to delta r by r change in resistance to the change in length and term gauge factor ante em ledu it is the ratio of change in resistance to change in length simply that is uh, that is given by in terms of manaki resistance kavalu anku change in resistance then gf into delta l by delta l by l in terms of uh, in terms of length kavalante then gf by delta r by r and rasta anamata and then a different notations lo rasta anamata and where this delta l by l can be indicated as strain this uh, change in the length this change in length can be indicated as strain that is given by like this epsilon is equal to strain that is equal to delta l by l the that gauge factor that gauge factor can be expressed as this gauge factor can be expressed as delta r by r by delta l by l appude em cheyali mana equation lo ee equation lo em cheyali idi equation number 5 lo mana gauge factor kavalu final ga appude em cheyali then i am going to take the term delta l by l on both sides delta l by l on both sides delta l by l on both sides then the equation is going to be are going to be turns like this that is uh, gf this is gauge factor gf is equal to delta r by r the, by delta l by l that is equal to delta l by l that means it will become it is going to be 1 plus and it is also going to be cancelled that is plus 1 plus 2v plus delta rho by rho by epsilon delta l by l ante epsilon ega that is the term i have written here then uh, this is the, this one indicates resistance change due to the change in length itla e two terms in this kunte this this is the resistance change will takes place with uh, with respect to the change in length second term resistance change due to the change in area due to the change in area second term will indicates the resistance change will takes place due to the change in area and third term resistance change due to the piezo resistive effect wala due to the piezo resistive effect that resistance is going to be 
change here that is the resistivity term this is the resistivity term therefore i can treat this term the resistance is going to be changed due to the piezo resistor effect okay and uh, then gauge factor gf is equal to 1 plus simply we can write it as 1 plus 2v plus delta rho by rho by delta l by l r epsilon delta l by l r epsilon we can return the final equation like this okay and and the strain is usually expressed in terms of uh, micro strain uh, one micro strain is equal to one micrometer per per meter if the change in the value of resistivity of a material when strained is neglected when strain when strain is neglected the gauge factor uh, strain and either neglect chase the, then the gauge factor that means i am going to omit this term strain is neglect chase the, i am going to omit this term the change in the length will take place uh, that change in length is not going to be takes is not going to be takes place by omitting that strain therefore then gauge factor then gauge factor uh, is given by gf is equal to 1 plus 2v this is the final equation this is the final equation for this entire derivation part okay the above equation is valid only when the piezo 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 resistor effect that is a change in the resistivity due to the strain is almost this strain is almost negligible means this is the equation if strain is considered we need to write this equation we need to write this equation gauge factor should be this equation okay and the poisons ratio for all the materials is between 0 to 0 and 0 0.5 this is gauge factor is a gauge factor of approximately 2 this gives the gauge factor of approximately here the different different gauge factors are there with respect to the material nickel manganese nick nic chrome constant and soft iron platinum car carbon doped crystal like that okay here this doped crystals uh, this gauge factor is very high that is 100 to 500 This is the one problem. In this, the resistance wire strain gauge uses a soft iron core of a small diameter. The gauge factor is 4.2. Neglecting the piezo resistor effect, calculate the Poisson's ratio. Simple one. Only gauge factor is there. Gauge factor is there. Poisson generally gauge factor is delta R by R, delta L by L. After then neglect the manner. Resistivity and neglect the manner. Delta L by L. Let us ask them. After gauge factor is equal to delta R by R. That gauge factor is given normally we can uh, take this gauge factor as 1 plus 2v what do what is in the gauge factor just said but we can easily calculate what is what is this Poisson's ratio v that is the gauge factor minus 1 by 2 after substituting that value i can obtain what is Poisson's ratio that is 1.6 this is one problem and another problem is also there this is the problem a, a resistance strain gauge with a gauge factor of 2 is uh, is converted to a steel, mem a steel member which is subjected to the strain of 1 into 10 power minus 6 if the original resistance value of the gauge is 130 ohm calculate the change in resistance delta l calculate just called manoikara gauge factor chesaru gauge factor chesaru strain chesaru and the resistance value which is zero calculate the change in resistance delta r can call on micro one e problem no are they formula is just going delta r and find out say and we go in car problems cavalry and then saliva not textbook on today calci textbook on today uh inka some other uh some other measurements textbooks on day i have only so on day which was the then low is the substitution problem in a make a plane as a strain gauges lay on a problem which in the end day that is substitution problem is very easy to do. Only the basic formula is to do. Only the basic formula. This basic formula is to apply to differentiation. To apply to differentiation with respect to stress. Stress, yes. Then apply to the basic equation. The basic equation is to do. Derivation part is to do. Finally, gauge factor. I am going to obtain the gauge factor. 
that is 1 plus 2v plus delta rho by rho by delta l by l the simplified form of gauge factor by neglecting the uh, by neglecting the resistivity that gauge factor is given by 1 plus 2v okay in this way you are supposed to derive the gauge factor for strain gauges next one is uh, wheatstone bridge wheatstone bridge circuit uh, this uh, strain gauge where we uh, uh, this is uh, just like a application application one where we are we are going to use the strain gauges uh, that is the uh, simple example for this one strain uh, wheat strain bridge is used to measure the change in the resistance that is indirectly strain uh, we are going to measure this uh, strain here Here, the most common uh, Wheatstone bridge is a null balance bridge. The null balance bridge has been explained as follows. The null balance bridge arrangement has shown in the figure. It consists of resistances. Uh, and uh, in these resistances, uh, you will see this resistance R1, R2, and the two standard resistance is given here. This is the resistance strain gauge. Let it be this resistance is R1. This is the strain gauge R2. This is the rheostat. And this is the R3 and R4. R3 and R4 are the normal uh, normal resistances. These two are the first one is strain gauge. This is the rheostat. The flow of current will take place here, like this: R I1, I2, I3, I4, and VCC is applied here. Here, uh, when the resistance R1 is not uh, strained, the resistance arrangement is such that the uh, potential at uh, B is equal to the potential at D and the galvanometer gives zero deflection here. Initially, all the when resistance is not strained, this uh, this strain gauge is not strained, then the galvanometer will uh, indicate the zero resistance, uh, zero deflection here, initial condition. That is, no current is indicated by the galvanometer connected between the bridge points here. Let it be this uh, this Wheatstone bridge is in the balanced condition balanced condition low undan kuno let it be here initial initial position the balanced condition then r1 by r2 is equal to r3 by r4 r1 by r2 is equal to r3 by r4 therefore r1 is equal to r2 r3 by r4 idi manu general ga rasa esta anamata but we need to we need to give this equation in the in the in the normal uh, calculated format a uh, calculated format lo itla chudal anamata bridge balance potential bridge balance potential difference across the galvanometer is equal to zero that is ab is equal to bc this ab this ab potential is equal to bc and uh, ad potential is equal to dc therefore i1 r1 is equal to i2 r2 if the galvano galvanometer current is zero then i1 is equal to i3 i1 is equal to i3 that is equal to this i1 is equal to i3 that is equal to v by r1 plus r3 similarly this uh, this currents i2 is equal to i4 i2 is equal to i4 that is equal to v by r2 plus r4 and combining above equations uh, in equation 1 you put e i1 term ni e i1 term ni e i2 term ni substitute chest on it equation of basic equation one low up to v by r1 plus r3 into r1 that is equal to v by r2 plus r4 into r2 therefore i can uh, this v and this v get cancelled so then r1 by r1 plus r3 that is equal to r2 by r2 plus r3 r1 after uh, rearranging these terms finally this this equation this balance equation i am going to obtain that is r1 by r2 is equal to r3 by r4 mere itla direct ga veyyadama mere itla direct ga veyyadu meeru oka vela direct ga veyalante mid exams appude emanna time saripopothe idi direct ga veyandi ante gani ee itla itla chesthe meeku marks vastayi itla derivation part chesthene marks vastayi adu chusukondi hmm? r1 by r2 is equal to r3 by r4 and and when the resistance r1 when the resistance r1 is strained its resistance will change by amount of dr1 what are the resistance are the first first case and the mono strain gauge ni emi strain cheyaled anamata first position adi idi ippudu enti ee position mono strain gauge ni strain chestunnam anamata appude em ayyadi resistance r1 em ayyadi delta r1 avutund anamata that is dr1 this change in resistance of r1 will unbalance the bridge 
అప్పుడు అదేమైంది ఫస్ట్ పొజిషన్ ఏమో బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ బ్రిడ్జ్ సెకండ్ పొజిషన్ అన్బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ బ్రిడ్జ్ అండ్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ విల్ అన్బ్యాలెన్స్ ద బ్రిడ్జ్ కాజింగ్ ద డిఫ్లెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ది గ్యాల్నోమీటర్ అది అన్బ్యాలెన్స్ అయితే ఏమవుతుందంటే డిఫ్లెక్ గ్యాల్నోమీటర్లో డిఫ్లెక్షన్ వస్తుంది అనమాట సమ్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ ది సమ్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ ది ఫ్లో ఆఫ్ కరెంట్ మై టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ హియర్ నౌ ద రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఆర్ టు యువర్ స్టార్ట్ ఈజ్ అడ్జస్టెడ్ అండ్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ ది డెల్టా ఆర్ టు టు బ్రింగ్ బ్యాక్ ది బ్రిడ్జ్ టు ఇట్స్ బ్యాలెన్స్ పొజిషన్ అప్పుడు ఆ రియో స్టార్ట్ని యూజ్ చేసుకొని నేను ఈ ఈ బ్యాలెన్ ఈ బ్రిడ్జ్ని అగైన్ బ్యాలెన్స్ చేయడం కోసం ఈ రియో స్టార్ట్ని యూజ్ చేస్తాను అనమాట ఈ రియో స్టార్ట్ని చేంజ్ చేసి ద ఫ్లో ఆఫ్ కరెంట్స్ షుడ్ బీ ఇన్ ది బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ పొజిషన్లో చేస్తాను అనమాట అప్పుడు దెన్ ద రీబ్యాలెన్స్ కండిషన్ ఇస్ గన్ బై ఆర్ వన్ ప్లస్ డిఆర్ వన్ బై ఆర్ టూ ప్లస్ డిఆర్ టూ దట్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఆర్ త్రీ బై ఆర్ ఫోర్ అండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ బై అగైన్ బై బై రియరేంజింగ్ దిస్ టర్మ్స్ ఆర్ వన్ ప్లస్ డిఆర్ వన్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఆర్ టూ ప్లస్ డిఆర్ టూ ఇంటూ ఆర్ త్రీ బై ఆర్ ఫోర్ దట్ ఎంప్లాయిస్ ఆర్ వన్ ప్లస్ డిఆర్ వన్ దట్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఆర్ టూ ఆర్ త్రీ బై ఆర్ ఫోర్ ప్లస్ డిఆర్ టూ ఆర్ త్రీ బై ఆర్ ఫోర్ బట్ వీ నో దట్ ఆర్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు దిస్ ఆర్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఆర్ టూ ఆర్ త్రీ బై ఆర్ ఫోర్ ఆర్ వన్ ప్లస్ డిఆర్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఆర్ దిస్ టర్మ్ ఆర్ వన్ ప్లస్ డిఆర్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఆర్ వన్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు రీప్లేస్ దిస్ టర్మ్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు రీప్లేస్ దిస్ టర్మ్ విత్ ఆర్ వన్ ఆర్ వన్ ప్లస్ డిఆర్ టూ ఇంటూ ఆర్ త్రీ బై ఆర్ ఫోర్ ఆర్ వన్ గెట్ క్యాన్సిల్స్ ఆన్ బోత్ సైడ్స్ దిస్ ఆర్ వన్ అండ్ దిస్ ఆర్ వన్ గెట్ క్యాన్సిల్స్ ఆన్ బోత్ సైడ్స్ దేర్ ఫోర్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ ద రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఆర్ వన్ విల్ గివ్ ది చేంజ్ ఇన్ ద రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఆర్ టూ ఓకే డిఆర్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు డిఆర్ టూ ఇంటూ ఆర్ త్రీ బై ఆర్ ఫోర్ ఆర్ ఫోర్ దిస్ చేంజ్ దిస్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ ద రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఆర్ వన్ విల్ గివ్ ది చేంజ్ ఇన్ ది రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఆర్ టూ ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు మేక్ ది ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు మేక్ అగైన్ ది బ్యాలెన్స్ పొజిషన్ ఆన్ బ్యాలెన్స్ పొజిషన్ దీస్ టూ రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు బి చేంజెస్ హియర్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ ఆల్ ద రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ ఇన్ ద బ్రిడ్జ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇఫ్ అండ్ మనం తీసుకున్న రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఫోర్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ కూడా ఈక్వల్గా ఉన్నాయి అనుకుంటే అప్పుడు ఏమైంది దెన్ డిఆర్ టూ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు డిఆర్ వన్ దస్ ద చేంజ్ ఇన్ ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఆర్ టూ ఈజ్ ద డైరెక్ట్ మెజర్ ఆఫ్ స్ట్రైన్ అవుతుంది అనమాట ఆర్ టూలో ఏదైతే చేంజ్ వచ్చిందంటే ఏదైనా చేంజ్ వస్తే అది డైరెక్ట్ మెజర్ ఆఫ్ స్ట్రైన్ అవుతుంది అనమాట ద నల్ బ్యాలెన్స్ బ్రిడ్జ్ ఈజ్ యూజ్ టు మెజర్ ది స్టాటిక్ స్ట్రైన్ నల్ బ్యాలెన్స్ బ్రిడ్జ్ని మనం మెజర్ చేయడం కోసం స్టాటిక్ స్టాటిక్ స్ట్రైన్ యూజ్ చేస్తాం అనమాట అండ్ ఈజ్ అన్ యాక్యురేట్ మెథడ్ టు మెజర్ ది చేంజ్ ఇన్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ని మెజర్ చేయడం దట్ ఈస్ ది యాక్యురేట్ మెజర్మెంట్ అది నల్ బ్యాలెన్స్ బ్రిడ్జ్ ఈస్ యూజ్ టు మెజర్ ది స్టాటిక్ స్ట్రైన్ అండ్ ఈజ్ అన్ యాక్యురేట్ మెథడ్ టు మెజర్ ది చేంజ్ ఇన్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఓకే హియర్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ది డెఫినేషన్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ these definitions we are going to see in the next class okay uh, these these definitions as well as uh, some of the other uh, other type of uh, strain gauges we will see unbonded type of strain gauge bonded type of strain gauges same same uh, each and every strain gauge is uh, each and every strain gauge we will see and some uh, some minor uh, change hours will take place that's it all the working is same for all the strain gauges we will see this uh, different types of uh, strain gauges and it's working in the next class okay